Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. Um, it is a lazy day Saturday. Got my coffee going. And today, we're going to open this bad boy up. <clears throat> you remember, this is the compressor that from my last video was running, but was not pumping. So as you can see, I had a laser precise cut. Super precision right there. But you don't need to worry about that. So we're gonna go ahead and open this baby up um, and see what's wrong with it. All right, so let me get situated here and uh, we'll get started. All right, now we're ready. Had to go get some more gloves, some napkins, and my headlamp. So, see, uh, see if we can't open this without too much trouble here. All right. There we go. So there's your your picker head compressor terminals right there and that just goes into right here all right so there's your motor and your suction you see your suction is right here your suction goes in and you're not connected to anything this is another suction port right here and pretty much what happens is uh, you see, that's where, that's where your suction gas goes in and cools off your motor windings. And then, uh, your suction goes in everywhere, surrounds the entire inside of the compressor. Your discharge port, and you can see your discharge line goes right under there. And if I'm not mistaken, it's this same line right here. I think this is some sort of, uh, I'm not even sure, it's probably like a little muffler or something. Maybe, I may be mistaken. All right guys, so we were able to get these four screws loose right here. And uh, <clears throat> let's see what we find with this. Okay, there we go. So it comes out of, I'm not sure if you can see, but this bottom part right here, and then right here. And there's our compressor windings. So I imagine the reason this is here is because the suction port was here and I imagine they wanna concentrate some of it right here inside this, inside this casing to cool the motor down. So that's why I imagine this is right here. So I may be incorrect, but I'm not an expert. As most of you guys know, I do make mistakes. So I'm gonna take this out right here. Oh, that's the heavy part right here. So there's your stator. Yeah, so this is what uh, makes your compressor turn. Yeah, these windings look in pretty damn good shape. So see there's your overload right there. Clicks on, made in Mexico. Where are you? There you are. Oh, this thing's heavy. <laughs> All right, let's put this off to the side. All right, so if that's your motor stator, then this is your motor rotor. moving so I'm gonna have to cut that discharge line right there and as you can see this motor is being held up by those springs right in there I think there's got to be another one right on this side yep right there and then we'll be able to pull this the rest of the compressor out I think this is ready to come out I 
I gotta cut the other side of the discharge line. Um, yeah, it's not letting me come out. There we go. And we should be able to pull it out now. There we go. So sit this right here. All right, gents, so here's your discharge line. It goes right there where I cut it. It goes underneath, and here it is. Then it comes out here, see? It comes out right here. Uh, actually, from here, I'm sorry. It comes out this way. It goes in here, and goes around, and comes out here to your outside of your compressor. I wonder what that thing is. Some sort of a uh, oil separator, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure if. I don't know what that is. I'll give my buddy a call right now and see if see if he knows what this is. The only thing I can think of being on the discharge line is, I don't know, some sort of oil separator or something. But I may be mistaken. So, anyways, that's your discharge line, and then uh, this right here is just welded onto the body, and that's where your that's where your compressor sits on those springs, right there and right right there. All right, so now for the good part, let's open up this part right here. Let's see what we find in here. There's our gasket. So here's our head, right here. So this is your discharge, right here. This is your suction side. So, uh. <clears throat> so yeah, this goes just like that. Yeah, that'll be your discharge port right here. It'll discharge out into your compressor. I mean, out into your line. And then this got to be your suction. So, I think this is your suction valve. No, I'm lying to you. This right here is your suction valve. Right here. That's your suction valve right here. So, let me get you closer real quick. All right, so this thing goes just like this, all right? Just like this, boom. So, like I said, this is your discharge, and then this is your suction right here. See, that's where it comes in from the top. So this is like this, and then this part was right here on the motor. So right in that port, that's your suction port into the head. So that right there's your suction. And if you look at it, it suctions in through here. And then it pulls it in through these right here. So yeah. Your suction valves. Your suction valve right here. And then these are your discharge valves. All right, guys, and if we turn this compressor around, uh, I'll show you real quick. This is where our head is. All right. And then just flip it over. And you can see your crankshaft and your pistons right in there. Seems to be working pretty good. The problem's just in the valves. So let's see. Let's see what our valves. Of course, we don't have any pressure differential here, but.
I'd like to see the inside of this, but it's just a single piece. So I wonder if we take the uh, crankcase off, if we'll be able to access where the valves are. But it's a pretty cool little view of the inside of a compressor. It's a two piston. See, that's why these, it doesn't matter which way these rotate when they're three phase, it doesn't matter because all you're moving is a piston up and down. So if it goes this way, your piston works. If it goes this way, your piston works. It don't matter. Scroll compressors are the only ones that matter on the proper rotation. But, all right guys. <laughs> so as you can see, I busted out the hammer I'm trying to accomplish something. But in the meanwhile, I found out that I was mistaken. You can see right here, there's the valve plate. I think this, this comes off. Of course it does, right? I was mistaken when I said that I needed to go in through the inside of the, um, of the, uh, where the crank is. So, uh, let's see if we can't take that off. Uh, this right here, that's your valve plate. Uh, let's see if, I've never done one of these before to see if I don't need a, Ah, there it is. So, let's see what we get right here inside the valve plate. Yeah, see, there's your valve plate right there. Sorry. There's your suction valves right here. That's how they open. That's your suction valve. And this is your other suction valve for the other piston. <clears throat> Not sure if you can see anything, anything wrong with it. I don't see a broken valve. Um, and right here. I don't see any broken pistons or anything. Right here. This one looks like it's open right there. Now that might have been me, but I doubt it. See how it's, this was just trash down here. But anyways, that is your valve plate. That sucks. I don't know why this, why this compressor wasn't pumping. Would have been nice if we would have been seen a definitive reason like, oh, you got a broken suction valve or a broken discharge valve. But you see that right there. Oh, this sucks. All right, guys, I've been messing with this valve plate for a few minutes now and I cannot find in here why this compressor was not pumping um, it's a pretty disappointing end to the video to be honest with you I was hoping I could find a reason why but it's, it's nothing definitive here I mean you know I mean I was thinking maybe maybe that discharge valve right here is it's a little bit too loose, but when you really think about it, you got the compression, I mean, you got the uh, discharge pressure pushing down on these, so they will seal. And this one, too. See right there? You see how that's a little bit separated right there? But these will seal with the discharge pressure. And then on the bottom side, your suction valves. Um, your suction valve seems to be seems to be sealing up pretty good um, you know whenever the piston goes down the uh, the suction pressure will um, push these open as the pistons going down come on baby here you are right there and as the pistons coming up it's gonna compress it and then once it overcomes suction pressure it's gonna shut these off and then it'll open these up your discharge valves right here on the inside 
So, honestly, pretty disappointing end. Uh, we'll find another compressor, gentlemen. We'll find another compressor and cut it open. All right, gents, I'm not the type of guy that likes to quit. So, I came back here and I tested the discharge line. I wanted to make sure it didn't have any cracks or anything, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Uh, I put some pressure in here just with the pressure I have in my lungs. And I didn't get any leaks. There's this little valve here. I don't know what this is, but it goes right here. And I... I blew into this and it was coming out of here, but I think that that's normal because if you put some pressure in it in here, there's a spring. So I imagine discharge pressure overcomes, overcomes this spring right here and it shuts it off. I don't know what the purpose of it is. Maybe like I said, some sort of oil. Um, I'm not sure. So anyways, if, if the discharge valves had enough pressure, it would have pushed that spring up and sealed it. So I don't think this is the issue. I also checked the head again. Uh, make sure I didn't have any cracks between my discharge and suction valves and it doesn't appear to have any, any cracks. The muffler right here does not appear to be cracked. Um, Does not appear to be cracked at all. Um, I mean, there's so many things that could have. Maybe there's a hairline crack somewhere in here we can't see. A hairline crack somewhere in here. Um, maybe even somewhere in here. Um, I'm just not sure, gentlemen. But I guess it is what it is. I just couldn't figure it out today. Yeah, I'd be lying to you if I said I was not disappointed. But, all right, just like I said, we'll, we'll end up getting another compressor and we'll do another autopsy. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. We'll see you on the next call, guys.